So now in this video we're going to use the LM393 comparator as a non-inverting comparator. We're going to set the voltage to half of the supply voltage, 5 volts there, so it's going to be 2.5 volts to the inverting input. The non-inverting input is going to have a trim pot which can go up to 5 volts or down to 0 volts uh, down there. So when we're above 2.5 volts and that region will have a high output when we're below that uh, region there halfway to uh, 0 volts so 2.5 to 0 we will have a low output a comparator the thing to be aware of with the LM393 is it's an open collector output what that means is there's an NPN bipolar junction transistor in there that is either on or off it's wired as a switch when it's off the output is high and uh, there's uh, really no electrical connection to the output when the transistor is on, that's when the output is low, it switches directly to ground right there. And uh, so you'll have zero volts at the output. That's how the open collector works. There's also transistors that are uh, MOSFET based that have the open drain. That does the same thing. So here is the uh, pin layout. We have the uh, LM393. So we need to power it, pin 8 to positive, and pin 4 to negative or ground. Output is the uh, top pin, then we have the inverting input below that and the non-inverting input. Sometimes on schematics you'll see the uh, numbers on there. So since all the comparator here does is either connect to ground at the output or nothing, that means when it's high it's not doing anything, we need a pull up resistor. So if you're just using that as a signal you'll give 5 volts to an input that does not need, if you're using 5 volts, any current. Since we have an LED, that'll pull the voltage down, but in this case, when the output is high, basically it's off, the LED will be lit, we'll have a current path. When it's low, then all the current going through the LED will go directly to ground, none of it through the LED, and uh, the voltage will be dropped to zero if you gave it to an input of something else that doesn't need current. It would get zero volts, no current, uh, would go through it anyways, even if it could use current. just goes directly to ground. So that's how it works. Let's look at it on the board. So now, while we're zoomed back, you can see that uh, we got 5 volts there, 5 milliamps of current. That is with the LED off. That means the output, or the uh, non-inverting input, I mean, is less than half of the uh, supply voltage. I'll turn the dial up above halfway. And there now you can see the LED is on. We still have uh, current flowing. There's actually more current flowing when the LED was off because instead of current going through the resistor in the LED, now it's just going through the resistor and then ground. So that's the main uh, thing. We got current limited to uh, 20 milliamps. That's all we need to see the uh, power supply for. So now we're going to uh, quickly take a look at the voltage. Each square here is one volt. Of uh, first we can look at the power supply 5 volts right there it's up 5 squares and then to the inverting input right there which of course holds steady even as I change the uh, trim pot doesn't matter it's just looking at the uh, voltage and now we'll go to the uh, trim pot and look at that in relationship so it's below that halfway point the LED is off we go above that uh, point the LED turns on on and off there we go depending on whether we're above or below when we're above we consider that a higher input the outputs high and uh, when we're below that line that we consider that low and we have a low output uh, pretty basic non inverting comparator so inverting would be the opposite but in any case let's look at the uh, circuit here so I have the uh, one kilo ohm resistor coming from the positive supply there and it's coming to the LED, the long lead, and a short lead. The uh, cathode is to that jumper there. So you can see how the LED lights up when the uh, output is not doing anything. But right now, the output's low. It's connected directly to ground. You can see ground there. And uh, so current's going through the resistor to ground. And if I turn the trim pot up, now it's going through the resistor. So trim pot to the non-inverting input these two resistors here one to the positive supply one to the negative and they both come to the inverting input right there and of course we have to power it so now what we'll do we zoomed in a little bit 
we're going to look at the voltage of the output right there and uh, we'll come back and you can see that the LEDs on we got two volts right there if we remove the LED now it's five volts so the LED was pulling the voltage down that's the main thing so if you need five volts you cannot also have an LED there you could give that five volts though to a weak signal actually we're done with the uh, LED and so now we have the uh, five volts again we can adjust the uh, trim pot and uh, set it to zero right there but while the output is high you can see the resistor comes from the uh, positive supply there without the resistor it drops to zero volts and uh, you need this pull up resistor here when you have an open collector it does not output a high signal right there so in any case that's it for the LM393 as a non-inverting comparator it is a, a pretty simple uh, component once you get used to it so hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting in this screen click like subscribe the bell all that donate to patreon if you can that helps out the most uh, I got links down in the description so thanks just for watching though if that's all you do I will see you in the next video.